Hey everybody, Dirty Dan here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a redneck vacuum cleaner in five minutes. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to get your typical washer and dryer, and you want to take your blower motor out of it. Then, you want to find yourself a sock. Lovely, that will do. Then, what you want to do is require any old electrical cord, any will do. Then, on that same extension cord, you want to strip the ends and you want to put two of these doodads on there. Then, what you want to do is you're going to get your typical vacuum cleaner and you're going to rip the hose off of it. Now, we can start building. The first thing you want to do is you want to take your blower motor and you want to attach your cord to it. You put those two ends on there and you just slide them on. Now, the first thing, also, you want to make sure that this blower motor is 120 volts AC. These are called three-stage AC motors, and they will work for just about anything you want to do. And they're commonly found in most washers. Don't know why, but yeah, that's where I got mine. So you could probably find one, too. Okay, once you've slid your little doodad and on there, you want to take your blower, and you want to measure the diameter of the intake of the out uh, of the blower motor and then you want to measure it you want to cut around that outside of the circle just like that and then you want to cut a spot for the hose to fit in then you want to hot glue your intake onto there you want to hot glue the cardboard piece onto there and that will be your little adapter plate then you hot glue it all together you seal it up and there you go now the next thing you want to do is you want to take your sock off that you've already placed on there somehow and you want to take it you want to glue a scenery bottle the cap to a scenery bottle on there. Now, here's the two methods of using. I will say you could use a scenery canister as I had previously used, but this doesn't work very well. And you have to have some kind of filter and it never works. But what you wanna do is you wanna uh, glue the cap of your scenery bottle on there. And so if you wanna, you could screw yours on in there, but I'm not gonna do that. But what the other th option is, is you wanna take your sock and you're gonna slide your sock over there. But I can't do that one handed. So anyways, that is how you make your scenery vacuum. Now you gotta do is you gotta plug it in, and boom, you got your scenery vacuum. And that's how you make a scenery vacuum in three minutes.